Hi, I'm DJ Glowing Ice, and this is McDonald's food from 2020. It's still been sealed within its own moisture all of this time. And this is a science experiment just to see if McDonald's food actually does degrade. Because we've all seen the stories about how, oh, you put a McDonald's burger away, come back 20 years later, and it's the exact same. Well, yeah, if it's left out in the open air, it's going to dry up and just become a hardened rock of a cheeseburger. But given the right climate and sealed within moisture like this one is, it does all of this gooey, nasty, frosty stuff. So you see mold right there. You see a what is this it looks it could be a cow patty but no this was a cheeseburger at one point i mean i guess it still is spiritually and this crumpled up dried turd looking thing is an apple pie so i've been doing this for quite a while just doing updates on it and so on but this is five years old and then some it's ready to go into kindergarten and learn its abc's and count to 10 and all that but let's take a deeper look into what all the details are of every single food item in here as this is the update for the mcdonald's jewel box for october of 2025. bon appetit all right ladies and gentlemen so we will start with the cheeseburger and the cheeseburger looks very muddy. It's very wet. It has kind of crusted up right here, which uh, is somewhat of a new development. It has gotten wet. It's gotten crusty. It seems to be getting more crustier now uh, as it has t uh, become fall. And yes, I have noticed things about the seasons. Even though this is sealed within its own moisture, uh, the temperature outside of the box really does do uh, damage to it or just changes it up as well. So taking a look at the top of it too, you, it, it looks like it's burnt, like a burnt just hamburger patty. There is some white mold right here as you can see, but uh, for the most part... Yeah, it is a truly disgusting specimen. Now, taking a look right here, there is some remnants of what used to be a bun. You can still kind of tell that it was a bun right there. And there is the piece of cheese that was just hanging out from the side forever. And at the very beginning of when I did this experiment, this little bridge between the cheeseburger and the pie didn't exist but once they started connecting from the cheeseburger to the pie that's when the pie started just fully decomposing and looking like it does the pie was surprisingly the last thing to get any kind of mold and then once it hit oh man just all hell broke loose so that is what the apple pie looks like right now it's starting to get signs of white mold right there, as you can see. And it's just nastier up front here. It just looks like a doo-doo. And it's, it's truly disgusting. Now here we have the fries. And the fry sleeve has turned from a red to a yellow. And it has these little moldy pimples all over it. It's uh, definitely becoming somewhat of a... Just nasty molding of fries and sleeves becoming one together. It's like a nasty, dirty marriage that no one wants to go to their wedding. But it is here, and it is fabulous. And here is a piece of the fry sleeve I'm waiting to finally see fall apart in a fry or a piece of mold to poke out of that hole right there. But there are all these little moldy crystals popping all over the uh, fry there and that is the new development see this crack right here that is something new i finally have seen i haven't seen that before in earlier updates i've done and it seems like the fries are kind of falling apart now it almost kind of has a like a white chocolate fudge 
kind of, or it kind of looks like a nitro coffee brew with some of these, especially that fry. That fry looks absolutely appetizing if you're thinking of coffee, but yeah, it definitely isn't coffee. Nice aerial shot of everything. Uh, the fries right here, this is somewhat of a new development. It is now getting frosted again with white mold. Um, a few months ago, I don't think there was that much compared. I may have to take a look, but I think that is uh, somewhat of a new development. All of that happening. And the back of the fry sleeve seems to be deteriorating a bit more. And... There you go. Get up close and personal. Mm. So anyways, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is your McDonald's Jewel Box update for October of 2025. Definitely some cool new developments here and there. But man, when I first started this experiment, there was a lot of fuzzies, a lot of craziness happening like the first six months. And uh, ever since then, years have gone by. This cheeseburger, still like, there are still things with this food that astonishes me almost monthly. So <laughs> we're going to keep this experiment going on for years. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I am DJ Glowing Ice, and this has been the McDonald's Jewel Box. And uh, we will see you next month for another fascinating installment. All right, guys. See you next time. Let's try this. Dun, dun, dun.